it's times like these when I'm just captured by how amazing it looks that I wish I could just paint it or draw it. Good morning everyone. I think it's still morning. Is it still morning? No, it's not still morning. It's midday. So good midday everyone. It's a pretty miserable day outside to be honest. It's been raining pretty much all night and all morning and it's just cold and gross and yuck and blah. But in saying that, I'm going to hopefully not let that ruin my day. I'm hopefully going to have a productive day today. Maybe even get out somewhere. Who knows? I just want to actually film something for you guys because I feel like I've been really lacking on the vlogging thing lately. There's a few reasons behind that but I'm not really enjoying the videos that I'm putting out and I don't want to do that. I don't want to become that person who just puts out videos for the sake of putting out videos. Like I started this for a reason so I want to continue it for a reason. <laughs> See just look how miserable it is. Not one bit of blue sky. Hey Bunny I would let you out for a run but it's very wet and gross. Sorry. I decided to get outside while the sun is still out and maybe get a chance to look at the sunset even I'm not sure if I'll be able to see it because the clouds are pretty much there um, but anyway check out those clouds look at that it looks fake it looks like someone's painted them on they've just gone squiggle squiggle and clouds <laughs> it's actually not too cold considering how cold it was today and it's not even like windy at all which is perfect but I can't see the sun but I can see how pretty the sky is Look at that. Sometimes it's even prettier with clouds because of the way the sun kind of creeps behind the clouds and the way like the clouds form the shapes through the light. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever not enjoy a sunset. <sighs> Let's just enjoy this, shall we? Enjoy the serenity of it. There's like five people out at the moment walking their dogs, all different kinds of dogs. They're all cute. I don't think you understand how much I want a dog and how much I miss Roxy, especially when I do come on walks and go places like this because I just feel like she would have so much fun. Or even if I just had a dog in general, they would just have so much fun running around, sniffing everything. It's not even that, it's just the little things like, I mean, Roxy was my best friend. She was the friend that I could just literally say anything to I didn't have to worry about what I looked like, how I acted or anything. She was just there. All she really wanted from me was a pat and food. Every time I look at it, I'm even more amazed. Just look at it. Look at the beauty of it. I really wish that I could paint or draw. Because yes, I can take a photo of it and that's amazing. But I really... It's times like these when I'm just captured by how amazing it looks that I wish I could just paint it or draw it the way that I see it both in front of me and in my mind. I envy people that can do that. While we're talking about this type of stuff I saw a video the other day talking about how people are like enthralled in social media and connecting on social media and always looking at their phones and everything all the time that they miss everything happening in the world. I kind of have to disagree with that. Yes, social media to an extent causes people to be too caught up in that world and be too caught up in their phones and their technology and stuff. But for me, social media, especially YouTube, has kind of helped me look at the world in a better way. Case in point right now, yes, I do enjoy coming and watching a sunset, but I could have just as easily stayed at home and just sat on the couch and watched movies for the rest of the night. But inside I was like, I do want to see the sunset and I can film it, which is an added bonus. So let's go and do that. So it kind of forces me to get out in the world and witness the world. And it also makes me realize the finer details and the most amazing things in this world because I am constantly kind of looking for things to capture. So I do pay attention more now than I probably did before I started vlogging. And to add to that, I met my now fiance through social media. So there is a lot of added bonuses to it that don't necessarily outweigh, but maybe balance out the negative sides. And it's almost gone. Might just do a bit of a time lapse here, I think.
to walk home. <laughs> Goodbye sunset. A little cat waiting for me in the window. Hey Max. Hey buddy. Well hello. What you doing up there? Huh? What you doing up there? Hey. So for dinner tonight I'm just making a uh, pumpkin. I got the pumpkin there, some spinach and mushroom risotto. So got that started. That shouldn't take too long. Um, and yeah, just another real quiet night in. Weekday nights are kind of uneventful. Occasionally we'll have something on, but generally we don't do much. Especially during winter, because all like, the TV shows are on. Like for instance, The Voice and The Master Chef are on at the moment. So yeah, it's kind of hard to find the motivation to want to do anything when I want to watch that. <laughs> and voila, there we have pumpkin, spinach and mushroom risotto. Delish. So I'm kind of getting all comfy here, settling in, and I realise that I haven't done the sign off yet. <laughs> yes, I'm in my dressing gown, and yes, I am playing The Sims. It's what happens when I start a Sims playing sort of session. I generally play it for a good couple of weeks, quite solidly. It's kind of addictive, I guess. <clears throat> So I guess that leaves my question of the day to be, do you play The Sims? Have you played The Sims? Is that a game that you play or is it something that you've never really played and you're not really that interested in or don't really like it that much? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is where you are. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.